meeting to you all. I am Kudong Bile and today I will be interviewing a very special lady. As you can see, she is very beautiful. Anyways, I'm not going to say much because I want her um, to give her the opportunity to introduce herself to us. Um, hey guys, I am Fontley Sharon Holele. I think I'm well known by Sharon Holele um, and I'm from Kurume. <laughs> okay Sharon, so please tell us more about yourself. And who is Sharon Fontley? <laughs> Um, well, I'm a very, I'd say I'm a very introverted person, a very calm person. Um, grew up in Bacharus and then I later moved on to uh, Mahojani. That's where we currently live right now. So yeah, there's really not much. <laughs> so now I want to ask you about your job and school. Like, how were you able to take up both of them? Because I know it's not easy, especially working at a club. Mm-hmm. Well, um, okay, working at a club was a challenge because, like I said, I'm an introvert, so having to be exposed to so many people, it was a very it was a challenge. So, um, but I got used to it, and I was in matric, right? I was in matric, so you know, when you're in matric, you're paragerized to yeah. to do better, mm. to learn more, and everything. But for me, it wasn't much of a challenge because it's not like I was studying during weekends. Yeah. So, um, yeah, um, it was it was. It was nice. It was nice, actually. New experience. I can only imagine. University and high school are two different things. So how were you adjusting to varsity life? <laughs> well, uh, the first week I wanted to cry. Yeah. Trust me, I wanted to cry because it's such a different world. You know, you're so used to this and that, and then you get there, and it's something totally different. So for me, it was kind of hard because I feel like. I take too long to adjust to changes. Yeah. So, yeah, it was pretty hard for me, but I think I'm getting there. Yeah, I think I'm getting there slowly but surely. Yeah, I can only imagine. <laughs> um, we all have dreams. We all want to achieve something in life. So what are your dreams and what have you achieved so far? Um, well, right now I'm only focusing on getting my grades yeah. high, you know, just doing better, bettering myself. Um, and securing the bag yes, on this side. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I haven't been thinking much further into the future. I've just been thinking about now, now you know, adjusting yeah. and doing better for myself right mm -hmm. now. Um, so, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm getting there. It's getting there and um, it's been good. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm glad. We all have a role model, you know, someone we look up to. Who's yours? Um... At this stage, I think my muse would have to be Tifilo Mabote. Mm -hmm. um, she's not necessarily doing what I want to do, but the way she carries herself, the yeah. way she's secure in the bag, I mean, I'm all about that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I look up to her in many ways. Yeah. yeah that's amazing. Any words of encouragement before we close off? Um, I think this will have to be to the students, mm -hmm. specifically. Um, I'd advise all the students right now during this pandemic not to treat this whole pandemic as a holiday because yeah. it's not. <laughs> it's really not. So um, if your classes are going on and everything, please, please attend. Get things done. Get study things when you have to. Done. Yeah, you know. And yeah, just do it. Put your mind to it and you'll do it. Oh my goodness, Sharon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Yeah. You be here. Thank you guys for watching and be signing up. Thank you for having me.